As a result of tampering with what we are not supposed to, we have been exposing ourselves to unwanted diseases. For example, COVID-19 and West Nile virus. These viruses are actually contained in animals, but due to our greediness and selfishness, we got what we deserve. In our video, we're gonna explain what is zoonosis? Why does it happen? How do we stop it from happening? So what is zoonosis? Zoonosis is derived from the Greek word zoon, which means animal, and nozon, which means disease. Obviously, this means zoonosis is an infectious disease that jumps from animals to humans. The first person to discover zoonosis is Dr. Vichu in the 19th century. Although this problem has existed for centuries, we humans haven't fully solved this problem yet. This is due to the fact that we are too scared to make a sacrifice to stop this once and for all. For example, we need to leave behind mass production and experience financial loss. Therefore, before we learn what the necessary sacrifice that need to be made, let's talk first about why this problem happened in the first place. So, one of the major reasons that zoonosis happened is the domestication of animals. We have created an environment where animals and humans can live under one roof together. This may seem normal to you, it is detrimental to our health. Why? Pets can transmit a number of diseases. A simple thing like a cat scratch can lead to Bartonella hanseli and Bartonella quentana. In the best case scenario, it only leads to headaches and fever. However, if you're not lucky, your limbs could go now. Besides that, there are also inconsiderate people with an exotic animal that houses viruses. Deforestation also plays a major factor because animals would be forced to change the habitat to ours. How do we solve it? Each state's government should enact a law where it restricts human contact with animals. If you want a pet, for example, it has to undergo a series of vaccination programs so that it doesn't house any dangerous virus. Next, any human activity which disrupts the animal's habitat will be severely punished by the government. This may be a leap, but we need to consider veganism. What is vegan? Vegan is someone who doesn't eat any animal products. This directly solves the problem where viruses are spread to animals that we eat. Some may complain, where do we get our protein? With the development of technology and research, there are vegan products which provide the same amount of protein or even more. It may be a hard journey, but sacrifices are necessary to sustain our planetary health.